Hi, this is Dr. Animesh Shaha. I am a clinical oncologist. So, oral cavity is the part of the mouth, uh, the front part of the mouth. It consists of mainly four parts. Number one, floor of mouth. Number is number two is uh, anterior two third of the tongue. Number three is uh, buccal mucosa, and number four is lips. So, according to a National Cancer Institute definition. Oral cavity cancer is a cancer which forms in the tissues of oral cavity and most oral cavity cancers are squamous and carcinomas. According to Globocon 2020 data, uh, oral cavity cancer is the most common cancer uh, in India in 2020. In 2020, there are about 1.35 lakh uh, new cases of oral cavity cancer which comp comprises of 10.3% uh, of all cancer in India and in 2020 there are about 75,000 deaths from oral cavity cancer which is roughly about 8.8% .8 of all cancer related death. So tobacco chewing is one of the most common uh, cause of uh, oral cavity cancer. Uh, along with uh, alcohol consumption. In western countries, uh, excessive sun exposure can cause lip cancer. So uh, ulcer in mouth which is not getting better, it might or might not be associated with pain. Uh, difficulty in uh, swallowing food, difficulty in speaking, difficulty in swallowing. Uh, can be a presentation of oral cavity cancer. Uh, swelling in the neck, either painful or painless, uh, can be a presentation of oral cavity cancer. So whenever a patient with a suspected oral cavity cancer comes to us, we clinically examine the patient. We do some routine blood test. Uh, all patients will need a biopsy uh, from the tumor or ulcer. Uh, sometimes we do an ultrasound neck or ultrasound guided FNSC from any neck swelling. But most patients would eventually need a CT scan of the neck to check uh, the local extent of the disease. Sometimes we do MRI as well. Uh, PET CT scan is a standard investigation uh, now. Uh, whenever we are planning for any curative intent treatment for localized or locally advanced oral cavity cancer. Uh, sometimes we do some molecular tests on the biopsy sample to take treatment decision. This is particularly in advanced stages of oral cavity cancer like PDL1, etc. So uh, based on the tumor size, uh, local extent or spread of the cancer, uh, spread of the cancer to any lymph gland or distant organ, oral cavity cancer can be divided into four stage, stage one to stage four. So uh, treatment of oral cavity cancer depends on various factors, uh, stage of the cancer, age of the patient, general fitness of the patient and any other medical problem that the patient might have. Treatment of early stage, that means uh, stage 1 and 2. Uh, this stage is of, at this stage, patients are curable with the available treatment. The primary treatment of early stage oral cavity cancer is surgery. Uh, often we need a plastic surgical reconstruction of the operated area. Uh, radiotherapy is an equally effective option if the patient is not fit for surgery or unwilling for surgery. Radiotherapy is usually given in a mega voltage photon form with external beam radiotherapy. Uh, sometimes in early lip cancer, uh, other form of radiotherapy can be used like brachytherapy, uh, electron beam therapy or kilo voltage uh, photon therapy. Now coming to the treatment of locally advanced uh, oral cavity cancer. This group include a mainly stage 3 uh, oral cavity cancer and a selected stage 4 uh, oral cavity cancer. Uh, surgery is still the primary treatment option for this group of patients if the tumor is 
operable if the tumor is borderline operable or if the patient have got bulky large disease sometimes we use a two to three cycle of chemotherapy to reduce the tumor size or tumor volume uh, after surgery patient will need a, a radiotherapy or combination of radiotherapy plus chemotherapy to reduce the risk of disease coming back so if a patient is not fit or not uh, willing for surgery uh, combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy is an alternate treatment option a radiotherapy alone can be a treatment option for very elderly unfit patient uh, intensity modulated radiotherapy or imrt is now the standard form of a radiotherapy technique that we use for old cavity cancer there are various forms of imrt uh, like uh, rapid arc or volumetric modulated uh, radiotherapy or vmat uh, helical tomotherapy uh, this technique uh, allows us to precisely target the tumor and spare the surrounding normal organ that uh, that is how it reduces the risk of having uh, side effects now coming to the treatment option for stage 4 uh, oral cavity cancer this group of patients are usually incurable the treatment option at this stage in, includes uh, chemotherapy uh, or targeted therapy or immunotherapy or their combinations sometimes patient might need palliative radiotherapy for symptom control so a uh, stage 1 and stage 2 oral cavity cancer can be cured with available treatment uh, stage 3 oral cavity cancer can still be cured but chance of cure is less there are always risk of disease coming back stage 4 uh, oral cavity cancer is incurable the treatment intent for stage 4 includes uh, to try to control the cancer try to control the symptoms from the cancer to try to maintain a quality of life for the patient and try to prolong his survival thank you for watching